P gang, it's your girl Corey back with another video. And as y'all can see, I'm officially chilling, 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 chilling like a villain. But uh, what everybody got going? Nothing much. I know y'all haven't uploaded no videos. I know y'all haven't got like a proper introduction from me and my wife. Like, I know y'all waiting on them videos. Like, I'm going to be dropping bangers, y'all. It's just like a little process that kind of stopped me. You know what I'm saying? But I got y'all. I promise I got y'all. So, um, basically, everybody been asking me to do how I, came, how I came out video. So, basically, it's how did I tell my parents that um, I was a lesbian. So, basically... Um, like I met my wife in, well, actually our family history goes deeper than what we think. Uh, cause I believe like we really met each other. Um, I believe like we really met each other when we were kids. So basically it goes from there. We done went to elementary school. We done went to uh, middle school, high school, college, everything together. So basically um, in middle school, I really didn't know what I wanted, but I knew I didn't want no boy. I'm sorry, but it was basically like I dated guys, but it's not. It was never. It was. It never went past go. I'm gonna just say that. So it's not like I didn't give it a try. Like uh, most people don't. Um, I believe it was in me when when I was little. Like no lie, if any, if anybody have ever played mom and daddy and you was always the daddy you knew you was gonna be a let's stop playing so basically um so fast forward to you know how we how we start you know talking and stuff we started out as best friends started out as sisters like basically we was calling each other sisters we was spending night at each other's house um we can't we we got a we came up with this game called uh Basically, everybody that was in our circle or uh, that was friends with us, we, we always say that that's our girlfriend. Or, no, you don't go with her, I go with her. You know, stuff like that. So, basically, uh, she was my girlfriend. It was a lot of, like, it was, it was like maybe like five of us, I think five or six of us in a group. But me personally, I was already low-key kind of curious about, you know, girls. So, I just didn't want to come out with it because I was – too scared of what people was going to say. Um, basically scared of my parents because I don't, well, actually, yeah, my parents, I was, I was scared of what they, what they were, what they were going to think of me. And basically, cause I've came from a family of basically really, really religious people, not saying that they're religious, but like my uncles are pastors, so that it goes deeper than that. So it was like, I was, I was thinking about how that's how I'm going to look within the family, you know, stuff, you know, insecurity. So, um, one day we were at school, um, I just noticed, like, all of our text messages used to get, like, really serious to the point we started sexting. Um, sexting is, like, I'm pretty sure everybody know what sexting is, but anytime we was, like, we would do that, it always ended up, like, being for real, and I used, like, I started, it was to the point where I started catching feelings for it, and... I wanted to hide those feelings, so I, talk, so I started talking like the other females, you know, to get the feel of being with a girl. So, I started dressing like a boy. Yes, when I first entered high school, yes, I was just like a um, a female. Um, I wore, like, the only thing I hated to wear was dresses um, and skirts like that. That wasn't me. But when I entered high school, my mom noticed I started dressing like a guy. So, she was she would... You know, she would just think that I'm being tomboyish because I've been called tomboyish throughout my entire life. Like, because the only thing I cared about was basketball. So, when we, um, when she noticed that, she say, like, no, don't wear that or I'm not buying that. So, that's when I start. you know, I got a job. And when I got a job, I, was, I just started purchasing my own clothes because it was some of the things that I was like, okay, yeah, you're buying them. So, you got the right to say what you don't want to buy. So... <clears throat> when we would, when we would just be like, 
I want to say, like, we used to party. Um, like, I, my mom was straight. And it was very seldom of certain certain stuff that I couldn't do that they could. I couldn't spend, spend a night at nobody's house. Um, all of my friends had to come to my house. Um, for us football games, it was very selective, very rare that I, that I went to one of them unless I had a basketball game. Um, staying up to school, like, no. That wasn't, like, the question. Like, my mom didn't play that. So, basically... Um, one day we were at school and I was around, I had other friends outside of the friend circle that we had. So I was just like, um, basically pouring out my feelings to a certain someone. I'm not going to give, you know, give out names or whatever. Um, so we were just sitting there like she was curious. I was curious. So we both, you know, you know, we, we both were turning into be, you know, stuff so we you know we were scared because of what people would say oh if you, you go yeah you're going to hell with the root. you know basically stuff like this so <clears throat> we were just like in class one day i was texting her just as well as we were sitting in class talking about it i was like well i got feelings for one of my friends but i don't think she's like that because like i told y'all um she at that time she was with our eldest son's father so i was like no nah, she's not like that but um she saw me a certain picture one day we were texting and i kind of figured like okay maybe i'm not the only one feeling a certain way so but fast forward back to where we were um we were texting we were texting and i'm talking to them she's like oh yeah i got this girl i'm feeling but i don't i don't want nobody to say this and i want nobody to say it. so basically we we got the same thing we not we don't want nobody to talk about us because we like girls but it go on it's going on around us like every day so <clears throat> fast forward she i opened up the last text message she saw me she said i want a kiss so i was like a kiss So I was like, a oh, for real kiss or emoji kiss? So basically, you know, that's when we would put the little dot and little parentheses for the emoji. Y'all know we ain't have emojis in high school. Come on now, don't don't be for real. Don't don't don't, 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 don't be for real. So, um, so I was like a real kiss. So she was like, yeah. So I was like, um, okay. So y'all, like, I'm so to the point where I was like walking down the stairs. So she was like, meet me on second floor. So I'm like this girl for real like this girl want to kiss me like i'm telling her i'm all happy i'm like man i've been waiting on this day you know but then i'm going down the steps like praying to god don't send me to hell please don't send me to hell like i just want to kiss i just want to tell like don't send me to hell i'm gonna pray about it i'm gonna i'm gonna think about it later you know this this is me going down the steps meeting them so i'm like oh man so boom we get up there like uh, we get on second floor, I see her, see her, we start smiling, you know, boom, y'all know how it is when you see your little boo, your little crush, you know, you walk up on them, and then, you know, it happened, it happened so quick, I was like, you know, yeah, like, I I, I, I was feeling it, so I was like, man, all right, so we start sneaking around, we didn't tell none of our friends that was in the inner circle, like, I ain't gonna lie, I started skipping class to be on, on, the, on second lunch shift with her, I started, um, she was bringing me food from home, you know, stuff like that she was cooking for me. And, you know, it, it just got to the point where one of our friends was, like, specific about what, like, she was so suspicious about what was going on. And she asked me one day, and I was like, nah, you know, what what you got going on? Like, I ain't, I ain't like that. So she was like, well, it's multiple females here that's telling me that you and what, you and her got something going on and you and other multiple females. So... And let alone, no, guys, I just did not settle down with one person. Like, I can't say, like, <clears throat> I probably was being, like, I was, I want to say I was playing, I was in the playground. You know, I was in the playground. I was chilling. You know, so, basically, um, one of the girls who liked me went back and told, like, uh, was, was, like, spreading, you know, letting everybody know that I was like that. You know, basically... Uh, putting other girls on game that probably had crushes on me, you know what I'm saying? So I was just like, okay, cool. But my sister wasn't, like, my twin wasn't going for it. Like, I promise you, like, she was not having it. But um, I think it was just more because she was, like, more of my sister, like, my big sister, and I didn't tell her first. So I kind of felt where she was coming from. But she found out, like, 
maybe some months after school had ended because like we were hiding it from everybody. We didn't want nobody to know like that we were that we were going together. Like my mom kind of figured it, you know, she was just like, um, I'm waiting on you, you know, to tell me if she was, you know, she gave me the IQ, you know, she noticed that I saw dressing like a guy and she was like, um, I don't care. Like if you have a girlfriend, I just want to accept her, but I'll accept you cause you're my child. So I'm like, okay, cool. You know, I was like, my mom going to be cool with it, but I still hit it from because in the same sentence, I didn't want her to think otherwise. I mean, I was still scared of what she might say. So, man, long story short, um, we, me and, me and Pooh planned, like, <clears throat> we basically planned where I could go to her house. Like, finally, we had her mom call and ask my mom could, you know, I come over there. Because my mom was real strict about us spending the night at other people's house. Like, if, like drop that comment down below if you had one of those parents where, like, it didn't matter who asked, you wasn't going. You know, so, I dropped that comment down below. But, <clears throat> before I get any further, guys, do me a favor. Like, I'm only asking y'all for one thing. One thing. I'm only asking y'all for one thing. Like this video. Comment and subscribe. And Turn on them post notifications so y'all can get notifications on the go when we upload something. So y'all won't miss nothing. I told y'all we got multiple mukbangs coming. We got multiple videos we dropping. And trust me, I'm getting a lot better on the pranks, guys. Because I had a lot of comment, a lot of feedback on what I needed to do. So guess what? I'm upgrading all this. So y'all won't even have to, you know, look for all that content. But I'm finna give y'all that content. Just do us one favor, y'all. One favor. Just like this video, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notification bell. And I promise you, you will get everything that you're waiting for, gang. I promise you. So, therefore, so, basically, back on our subject. So, you know, cut that out. But I, I still need y'all to do that with me. I still need y'all to do that with me. So, uh, back on our subject. Um... We was basically, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say, like, it hurt her feelings, but I kind of felt where she was coming from because we hid it for her, from her so long. So, basically, long story short, my twin made it over there before I did. So, I was at home. I was waiting on my mom, my mom to get off, and I'm packing my bag, you know. I'm, I'm ready to go, you know what I'm saying? So, we had our little day planned out. We are going to watch movies, lay up, you know, cuddle, boom. She was going to cook for me, you know. So, I'm just like, okay, cool. So, I'm like, yeah, you know, I got everything planned out. It's going to work all in my favor. You know, I get to lay on my baby, get to, you know, you know, you know. So, boom. My twin texts me, and she like, why you ain't tell me? So, I'm like, what you talking about? She like, so you and you and you and Pooh going together. Then she texted me right behind my twin and was like, she found out. So I couldn't lie to her. So I was like, yeah. You know, she was like, why you ain't tell me? I'm telling mama, you got 10 minutes to tell mama or boom, we ain't friends no more. This said, forget it. You probably not care about being friends with me. With, with. I'm going to tell her if you don't tell her. So I was like, oh, so I'm at the end of my rope right now. I was like, you know, I said, wait till I come over there, boom, and I'll tell her after. She wasn't having it because she was hurt, you know. But I understood where she was coming from because we both was her best friend, you know what I'm saying. So, and I think it was more of me because I was her, I was more of her best friend than, than anybody. Like, she practically lived with me. Like, basically, like, this, that's how close we were. Like, to the point where each other closed. We didn't, people couldn't tell us apart. People didn't know who, which one was us. Like, that type of close. So, I understood where she, where she came from, but it was just, like, the wrong timing that she did it. So, I was just like, man, like, you really put me in a tough spot. So, I was just like, okay. You know, so I texted my mom, which which I should have waited till she got off, but I texted her because I, I didn't want to hear that. She was like, you call me at work and tell me some bullshit like this. So I was like, oh, yeah, she ain't taking this too hot. Man, my mama called my uncle over there. She had people praying over me. She had, bro, she cut ties with everybody. Like, I couldn't get on social media. I couldn't have a phone. I couldn't talk to her. So, boom, long story short, I promise y'all, like, we fast forward and we fast forward. And then 
I basically told her two and one. I got a girlfriend, and I, and, and I came out to be gay. Like, I'm serious. Like, so she, there was a lot for that woman to take, but, um, yeah, my mama tolerated it, you know? She, she tolerated, but then, uh, she, she couldn't stand it. She, like, she didn't, like, she didn't want me around Pooh at all. She didn't want, like, she stopped contact between me and Pooh for, like, two years. Um, she took my phone. She switched my school. Like, I couldn't go with no, she couldn't trust me to go with nobody because she felt like every time I was going out with somebody or going to somebody's house, I was meeting up with Pooh. You know, it was just, like, wow. It was like some of, uh, it was like a nightmare, like basically. And she used to get so mad when she thought about it. She was just like, she, it was just like for a long time she didn't accept it. Like, if she, like, Pooh wasn't the only one. She just couldn't accept the fact of me being gay. So she got strict on, on what I wear to school. Like, I'm like 17, 18, and she's telling me what to wear. So I'm like, oh my God. You know, I can't wait till I turn 18. And, like, when I turned 18, it was worse. Um, I can say that I broke the chain around 19. Um, and that's when me and Janisha, like, actually started back talking. Because, like I told y'all, we lost contact for about two years. Um, like, who she was with, he didn't want anything for her to do with me. Like, she... She couldn't talk to me. Like, he deleted her, like, off all of my social media. Um, she added me back, like, when I turned 19. Um, she First, she added me back on IG. Like, no lie. She added me back on IG first, and then um, I got a phone request from her. When I, yeah, right after she added me back on IG. So, it's basically like it was like a little roller coaster. Like, you know, so one night, you know, I'm chilling. I posted, like, who won't text? So she was like me. So I was, like, withdrawn at that she texts. Like, she come in the under my thing. So I'm like, should I go back down this path or what? Because, like, throughout those two years, yes, I have talked to her from other people's phone. Like, and then, like, my twin, she, she would tell me, you know, that she had asked about me. You know, um, I never lost touch with um, one of her cousins. Like, we were really, really close. He's basically my cousin, too. So... He was telling me, like, how she's doing, and, you know, um, then when I found out that she kind of, like, moved on, so I kind of, like, bagged up just when I started to talk to other females, and, yeah, just, yeah, Pooh took me through a lot. Like, basically, it was a up and down uh, situation to the point where, like, I would fall for her and get hurt at the same time because she couldn't leave who she was with alone. You know, and she would be like, well, we're broken up. You know, I want to talk to you. So, basically, I was her rebound. So, and, like, this time, I was just like, you know, if you, you really are dumb for fooling with him, I'm going to um, give you a second chance. And, basically, since I turned 19, I'm now 24. Uh, I want to say those years have been easy, but it, it wasn't um, it wasn't easy. It was rough. Um, we have encountered, like, so many, uh, we've encountered so many, uh, past, like, different turns, um, like, different everything, like, we've encountered, like, so much stuff, and it's just, like, sometimes I sit and wonder, like, how we made it through everything, and it's just like she's never left my side. I never left her side regardless of what was going on. We always found each other, you know, back. So that last time we got together, which I think I was about, maybe 21, going on 22, maybe 21. Um, this one I was just like, we need to like set aside the games and, you know, make this official. So. When I turned 23, we got married. We got married September the 22nd, 2018. It'll be our one-year anniversary. September 22nd, 2019, we'll be married for one year. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like we've been married one year. But, um, it, it's, 
I would I would definitely say like it's a process because we went through a lot to get to where we are and I'm not saying marriage is perfect guys I promise it's not because it's some stuff that you're gonna in a, encounter um throughout the entire time that your marriage is gonna be like test um they say that when you get married it gets worse but it's only worse if you make it worse like if you're one of those people that do not communicate, that still thinks you're not married or um, doesn't do marriage stuff, like you still think you're you're single, um, you still think you got, like, if you can tolerate somebody for like six or seven years as boyfriend and girlfriend or girlfriend and girlfriend, boyfriend and boyfriend, then I'm pretty sure you can handle marriage. Like, it's nothing different. You just have a ring that symbolizes and you're more committed. That's it. But... Other than that, guys, that's my story of how I came out and how I met Janisha. That's her real name, guys, but Pooh is her nickname. But that's my story of how I came out and how I met Janisha. Um, it's more to come. It'll be a part two with her. Um, this is just me. So it'll be a part two with her. So be, be guys, be on the lookout about that. And then... As I was said, once again, once again, more content coming y'all way. I promise you. So, what I need y'all to do before I end this video, I want y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. Drop a like on this video if y'all want part two to come. And if also, drop a like on this video if y'all got any, like, drop a comment. I'm sorry. Drop a comment on this video if y'all y'all feel free to ask us anything we, we want, you know, hide or uh, not answer any of y'all questions because trust me y'all are what makes us just remember that y'all are what makes us y'all are more important than us and i love my kp fans like if i'm i'm like definitely like 100 subscribers is in our reach y'all i know we can get there i know so what i need y'all to do is tell your friends tell your mama tell your uncle tell your daddy tell your daddy cousin tell your daddy i ain't gonna tell everybody to like comment and subscribe and definitely turn on the post notification bell so y'all can get updates on the go whenever time when every time we upload a video y'all won't have to miss nothing and like i said follow us on all our social media the description will be in the comments below and that's it for now